International Summit. We have been uh, the host to 10 international studios, studios that are very similar to Projectability, um, studios who work with artists with learning disabilities. We've had artists, we have artists here from Australia, from Canada, from Finland, Sweden, Germany, Ireland, Wales, uh, Manchester. That separate country, uh, London, got everybody, and of course some of the project ability artists have been here as well. And all of the workshop teachers have been here and um, have been supporting people while they, they are here to make some amazing artwork. Uh, so we've had a really exciting couple of days. We've got one more day to go, but this little section of the programme is um, the prelude to the book launch. And now, as you know, uh, in the summer of 2014, we invited a photographer, Lucy Bruce. <coughs> it's quite dark in here. You might not actually see it. <laughs> uh, and Alicia came to the, came to the, the studio for two weeks in the summer. And many of you came in over that period um, and during that period, uh, there was a series of portrait sittings, and Alicia um, took. Oh, that's all right, then. No, no, that no, is no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, whoever had the sense to do that. <laughs> I'm sitting in the dark, fumbling around. Um, Alicia is going to talk a little bit about that experience and about what happened over the two weeks, and then we're going to invite you all down to the gallery. Um, Sorry, I should say that once the portraits were taken, uh, we commissioned the designer, Zena Parman, who some of you will know, she's also one of our workshop tutors. And, um, I, yeah, I don't I think Zeynep's here, I think she's coming in later. Um, and Zeynep took the, the illustrations, the, the photographs, <coughs> along with some text that the workshop tutors wrote. So we've got text from Sharon, from Meredith, from Alison, from Sandy and from Valerie. And we asked them to write in about 500 words what, what the workshops meant to them, how they engaged in the workshops, what, they, what happened in a workshop basically, what, what was a day in the life of a workshop. And they, they really are very, very beautifully written. Um, so we have to thank all the artists for doing that. Uh, sometimes getting <coughs> guys to write anything is like a blood out of a stone. But they, they, were, they, they really are very beautifully written. So uh, you know, I urge you to take the time to actually to, to read the essays. Not just go straight to your photograph, that's me, but to actually read the essays as well. And oh, actually Stuart, um, our administrator, who you all know because you Stuart's the one that makes you sign in and out. Stuart also wrote a text, um, and that's that's also a very lovely piece of writing. But I think now I'm just going to hand over to myself. There's still people coming in. <laughs> Here's Marie. Marie's done a U turn. <laughs> no, no, she's back. She's back. Um, so yeah, I'm now just going to hand over to Lucy and let her talk about the, the workshop. Thank you. I believe. 
believe it or not, so it was eight months ago I was last at Project Ability photographing all of the artists who make work here and some of the tutors and carers. It was a great privilege for me to get to know all of you. So I'm just going to go through some of the pictures and talk about the process for me. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, all of you. So, this is on my Instagram page. Does anyone use Instagram here? Me. No. Me? You use Instagram as well. So, at the start of the project, I set up a studio and I was thinking about when you make a portrait of someone, and it's the same when you guys. Oh. <laughs> it's the same when all of you paint a portrait. You're thinking, well, how can I make an interesting picture of this person, and what am I trying to say about this person? So it was important for me in the first week of the project to get one-to-one -one time with each and every one of you, even for ten minutes, just to get to know all the different artists and find out about your practice. So this was my studio. Does anyone remember where the studio was? I just in the eye. Over there. Over there? Any no, other no, guesses? Through there, over there. It was through there. So I, this room I here. remember it now. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> remember it now. Um, and not too far away from where, because workshops were going on as well and people were making work all the time. So I didn't want to disrupt too much the activities that were going on. So I had a nice wee quiet space in here <laughs> with my camera and the chair. Does everyone remember it now? Yes, I do. <laughs> And that was how we started, and I got a bit of canvas. I think Sharon helped me get this bit of canvas, perhaps, or Sandy? Wow. I can't remember now. Oh, oh, <laughs> and thinking about the blank canvas, when you guys start to make work, you start with a blank canvas, and you think, right, how am I going to... How am I going to make this work today? So this is what I did with my background, and then I wanted to bring life into this blank canvas. Ah, make pictures that say something about each of these people. So do you think this is a good likeness of, of him? That's good. Yeah? Does it reflect Paul's personality? Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> and there's you. And also asking people to bring their work with them as well. So do you remember when I took this photograph, I was asking you about your picture. What did we talk about? Can you remember? Killer wheels, basically. Killer wheels. Killer wheels. And why you wanted to paint a killer wheel as well. Because they love the ocean. Yeah, and I thought... Oh, sorry. Oh, you get you get all the oil and all the bad stuff. Yeah, uh -huh, that's really good. So killer whales in the ocean and all the bad stuff that's on the draw. Yeah, it's a good work of art and I thought it looked really nice over your head like that because it echoed a wave and it went really well with your outfit that day. So I thought that will be a good portrait of her. And we've got Tommy. <laughs> and bringing the personalities into the blank canvas. So you're looking at everyone, just looking at their personality by photographing everyone in the same sort of way. And also the relationships, I think the relationships that people have in project ability is really important. So I wanted to reflect that in the pictures too. So here we've got Gerard with one of his support workers here and some of the other people, some of the people that you bring up at the workshops. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So you're looking at sort of type of thing. Yeah. And also just try to show that we'll have a laugh at projectability as well. It's not a serious place. Well, sometimes we make serious artworks, but in general there's a lot of noise and there's a lot of giggling and there's a lot of nice interaction between people. And I think that was something Elizabeth especially was keen to capture for the book. Like these two. And these two. And these two. And those two. And those two. And those two. <laughs> and I loved photographing these two because we ended up singing Tom Jones, it's not unusual, for about 15 minutes. Do you remember, Manny? <laughs> so I think everybody could hear us singing when we were making these pictures. And it was hard to get these two to stay still because I had quite long exposures and they were giggling so much. I was like, have fun just a bit slower. <laughs> That's just some of the 
and you can see I've got a long exposure because you can see the ear ring. Do you see how my ear ring's shaking in the picture? <laughs> because it was a half half second exposure that I had in the camera. And also bringing everybody's work, everyone's artwork into the room, talking about the artwork and talking to all of you. How can we, how can we make pictures and include your artwork? So this is one of the ones that we did. And then with Meredith and Andrew as well. <laughs> so for some of the pictures, I started to use people's artworks and it was a difficult time, not a difficult time, it was a lovely time. But a lot of your artworks at that point had been archived, so lovely Lauren kept going downstairs into the archive and bringing people's work up. Do you remember that as well? We kept trying to find people's, people's paintings. And I thought this was a really nice backdrop for Tommy. Is Tommy here? Yes. Much longer hair now. It's covered a bit of that. And with this one as well, she was making multiple self-portraits. So again, we worked together to make a backdrop. How can we make a backdrop for your portrait? And always try to involve people as much as they wanted to be involved. Some people were happy just to come and, and sit down. But for this one, we got all the self-portraits round about. Yeah. So that was what we did. Happy Stephen and a John. So I won't talk about every individual picture because there are over 60 artists that I photographed in the first week so I can. I'd love to give an anecdote about every single person but it's just going to take too long. Um, but do you remember how we were photographing when we were in the room? Lots of you were in the room being photographed. Remember we had the chair? Mm -hmm. What else did we have set up? Mm -hmm. A camp, different camera. Different camera, yeah. And do you remember the reflector as well, the big reflector? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like a big flashy photography studio. We were just using the daylight that was coming in the window and reflecting that back in, which is why you get, see the little highlights in his eye there? Little glint in the eyes. So that was why we used the reflector. Hey. <laughs> There's Ronnie. Judith. Judith, I could never decide which one of you I like the best out of these two. But Judith was really nice to me because her work was on display in the gallery at the time, so we had to go down and carefully take it out of a plinth. Remember it was all boxed in the plinth? So I was very thankful that she came downstairs and helped me pick the artwork for this. Oh, oh sorry, I went a bit too fast there. Too quick. Oh, John. John. Oh. You've got two artworks. <laughs> and you'll remember Cameron had a solo exhibition as part of Generation during this time as well. <laughs> so it was good to get you upstairs because you were coming up in between making the mural, remember? You were coming up the rain. Yeah, and also you brought two hard work. <laughs> we could never pick. So I'll let you pick which one you like best, if you like. I just say that one. That one. That one. That one. Yes, Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and Zoe. That's Zoe. And I love taking pictures of Zoe because her carer said there's absolutely no way Zoe will let you photograph her. She doesn't even let her family photograph her. She's not going to pose for a photograph. And she loved it. She just, I think there was just, we just got on really well and she really enjoyed being in the space, a nice calm studio space and having her photograph taken. So that felt like a real achievement to me that she wanted to be photographed. I felt very privileged. I think she looks a bit like Patti Smith in this picture as well. I don't know if you know Patti Smith, the singer. Oh, I thought fun. Yeah. So I'll just keep going. <laughs> and some of these, I was trying to make them look like the sort of pictures you would see. You know, if you open the Sunday Times magazine or the Observer magazine and you see portraits of artists in their studios or portraits of artists where you would have articles about the artists, which you sort of have now anyway, because with the publication, Sharon's written about you and different people have written about you. So I wanted to have that sort of aesthetic for the portraits. And interestingly, <laughs> with Robert, it was really interesting. And Sandy will remember this. Hello, the at the back. Hello. I took other pictures of Robert a few days before and Sandy was going, these aren't right, these aren't right. And I thought, oh, she's really overprotective of Robert. And it turned out she couldn't put her finger on it, but she just didn't think it was a good picture of Robert. She didn't say it was a bad picture, but it just wasn't quite right. And we had the wrong painting. We didn't have one of Robert's paintings. This is one of Robert's paintings. That one. But I took a picture of you a few days before without your painting and Sandy luckily noticed that. So I'm very thankful to Sandy for that too. And then we got Robert back in to get a very Robert-like portrait <laughs> as well. Yeah. And most of the time it was just lots of giggles, lots of conversations, lots of giggles. I think 65 people over five days I photographed. His name's Andrew too, isn't it? Alistair, sorry, Alistair. <laughs> Here's Paul. You're not looking? He's not looking. It's you. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> he got bored waiting for himself and fell asleep here. <laughs> so that's Paul. And the thing with making this is I didn't want to leave anyone out, so you're going to see a picture of everyone because there's no way I could delete anyone's picture from this. No. I'm just going through everyone. <coughs> and Ralph, is Ralph here? No. Oh, no, he's not. No. Ralph. no. <laughs> And she loved pink, she absolutely loved pink, so she brought in this lovely, delicate pink painting. And there's Andrew again. <coughs> and here's you. Mine. <laughs> you happy with that one? You happy with that one? Yeah, I think it's a many good day. You look very serious, like a very serious artist in this one. So I think it really reflects the type of work so that you make. Yeah, uh -huh. which I think reflects his personality. He's serious about his work, so I think it works really, really well. <laughs> and then we've got more jolly, chirpy characters as well. <laughs> There's Edward. I think that was Chris Hoy in the back, wasn't it? Because it was during the top yes. Commonwealth Games time, so we had lots of Commonwealth Games work. Yeah. Thank you. And Kirsty as well. Again, Kirsty's mum was like, you'll struggle to get a picture of her, but she was quite serene and calm in the room. She just 
got quite into her own... Maybe you hypnotised her. Or put her to sleep, I'm not really sure. But I really like this picture of Kirsty because she wears these dark glasses quite a lot. That helps her concentrate. And I like how she's got her self-portrait and then mimicked in that is Kirsty above. And then the little mouth twice. So you see her mouth in the painting and then her little mouth just above. And that's the last single portrait as well. So everyone, and then week two, do you remember week two? That was a bit more chaotic for all of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, it was a hot summer's day. Yeah, and what I was trying to do over that week was Elizabeth asked me to try and capture the atmosphere of project ability and of the artist spaces <coughs> and of all of you and the group dynamics, so to try and get group portraits in the space. And now you don't notice it so much, the lights are on at the moment, but it's actually very, very dark where all of you sit. If you look around the room just now, you can see everyone's faces are in the shade. <laughs> it's very difficult to photograph. So I didn't want to bring in flash, camera flashes, because I thought if anyone doesn't like the flash, it could completely interrupt things. So what we did was we borrowed lights from Jim. Thank you, Jim. And I just tried to light everyone up because I wanted you to look like old masters paintings. <laughs> Painters in their workshops. Oh, and kind of almost like make these dignified photographs of painters like you might see in a 19th century or 16th century painting. So that was the look I was going for. Yeah? Sorry? You're a painter? Yeah. <laughs> to move this, move this up a bit. Can you still hear me? No, <laughs> why? So I'll just go through some of these, and you'll see this is Ralph, but we've got Tommy's painting behind Ralph here. But I just love that painting. I'd like to keep it if I could, but it'll probably get sold. <laughs> and then here's Zoe again. And try to show the space, try to show project ability, try to show the location of Glasgow, and then all the characters, personalities that come and use the space, and the sort of work you were making. And I was quite amazed because Zoe made this painting. So I'm trying to talk and point at the same time. She made that painting in about three minutes time. So all the tutors were helping us, really helping set all these setups up, make them look very natural in the space. And then people were just getting on making their work. Well, I shifted about and moved all my lights and my tripod and, and things round about. Sorry? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, I'll keep going. Tommy's painting again. That's me work. Yeah, in the clay room just behind. Is there any way I can lift this up? Sorry. I can see it there. So that I can still talk into it. That kind of works. And again, Meredith, thanks for posing for this one. And Paul, do you remember us doing this photograph, Paul? Yeah. Do you recognise it? Can you see it? Oh, he's coming up. <laughs> Tutor, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
moving things, assisting the photographer and assisting all these things at the same time and making people laugh. So I thought that was a really nice, nice portrait of Super Sandy. And then all of a sudden, she's back to work. <laughs> so we're back to serious work. And then we've got Maddie again. And this one I really like because of the red road flats as well. Someone was making work about the red road flats just in the centre there, which I thought was really lovely. And lots of books. You're always getting books out to paint from in Project Ability and getting inspired by all the books. So I thought it was important to have some books in there. <clears throat> and then... Tommy with his horses and a lot of these works people were just making them there on the spot which I was really impressed by. I wish I could draw like some of you or paint like some of you. Yeah? Oh no, you've got a good your full length. I think you've got a good spot. And everyone's got about a quarter of the picture each. So I was also trying to show how everyone's connected. So you're all sort of connected by the canvases and things as well. So the artwork's the backdrop of the photographs and then everyone works well as a group, which I was hoping that the pictures reflect. I hope you agree. And Stephen, you turn up in quite a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the final one. This was the big... I was most nervous about making this picture because it was all the kind of the most established artists in Project Ability, the kind of most prolific ones, I would say. And you were all having a laugh at me when I was trying to set this up. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, is it Deirdre? Deirdre was here. Is that your... Have I got her name right? No. It's Valerie. Valerie, sorry. Valerie. Was very, very patient while we set this one up. But that was on the Friday morning at the end of the two weeks. So I think everyone was getting... Tired of being photographed, or at least comfortable enough with me that you were just taking the mickey out of me by that point. <laughs> so it felt like, but you also really helped me set up all the backdrops and set up all the pictures, which I really, really appreciate, and then um, gave me the time to make the portrait. So this one, this felt like a big achievement because there were so many of you in it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. And there was always someone laughing so much that they had their eyes shut in the pictures. It was hard to get one where everyone was looking at the camera, which is something Elizabeth really wanted. But I decided it didn't matter because it captured your personalities and it captured the dynamic of what it's like to be in project ability. So I hope you're happy with the photographs. Did I get Let me know what you think. Oh, thank you, Carmen. Thank you. That picture has made it into the book. It's not good. Good for that, eh? <laughs> So that's about it, but I just have to say I had a great two week experience, it was really nice to get to know everyone, it was good working with the tutors, very flexible in terms of the brief and Elizabeth kept kind of feeding back, oh could you get this in, could you get this in, can we try this, so we just kept kind of, it just evolved, so it was like making a painting throughout the two weeks, you know you change things and you step back and you think about it and you do other things, so for me it was part of my process while I was watching all of you with your process. So thank you for having me. I hope you like it. Oh, you're welcome, Cheers. <laughs>